Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you old fashioned photo camera history and how it works. Nowadays, having a great camera on your smartphone and being able to catch the experience at all times is regarded as entirely usual. But this was not the case 10 years ago. Even though more than 80% of Americans already own smartphones, it's easy to overlook that millions of us have a stunningly elevated camera or two in our pockets. Cameras are so quick and easy to use that anybody can take a photo, edit it and share it with the rest of the world in minutes. Technology has become so pervasive that many people can't fathom their lives without photography in the 21st century. History The camera obscura is thought to be the first camera in history. Conceptual descriptions of the camera obscura can be traced in Chinese manuscripts dating back to 400 BC and in Aristotle's works around about 330 BC. Ibn al-Haytham, an Arab scholar, presented the idea of a camera obscura around 1000 AD. A camera obscura does not take images, instead it directs light through a lens, technically a tiny hole, and projects it onto a screen. Pinhole cameras are very similar to camera obscuras. These inventions foreshadow everything from still pictures to movie cameras and motion image projectors. How these cameras work The photographic camera While historians generally accept that the first photographic camera was developed in 1816 by Frenchman Joseph Niers von Niepce, the camera's origin relies on centuries of contributions. Niepce created photographic images onto silver chloride lined paper, and the oldest extant photograph is one he made around about 1826. The original shot is still on exhibit at the University of Texas in Austin. The mirror camera. Dagger's camera technology had a flaw where the pictures vanished quickly. This was corrected by American inventor Alexander S. Walcott, who invented the mirror camera. Instead of a negative image with reverse colours, this camera created a positive impression. Kodak It wasn't until American George Eastman perfected the use of roll film cameras that analogue photography reached its pinnacle. In 1888, Eastman began marketing a box camera he named Kodak. Initially using paper film, but swiftly transitioning to celluloid, a single Kodak camera arrived with 100 exposures and had to be developed at the Eastman Kodak plant in Rochester, New York. These early film cameras were eventually superseded by Kodak's Brownie cameras, a less expensive variation in 1901. Twin reflex camera. The creation of lens reflex cameras, which offered features such as camera lenses, pen to prism, variable shutter speeds and removable lenses marked a significant advancement in the camera. The first of these cameras were the dual lens reflex cameras, or TLRs for short, sold in the 1920s by the German company Frank and Heideck. TLR cameras were quickly phased out to favour single lens reflex cameras, or SLR. Digital SLR camera the first DSLR camera was introduced in 1999, and after a few years of scientific advancement, it entirely supplanted single lens reflex cameras. A digital single lens reflex camera, DLSR or digital SLR, is a camera that produces high quality images and is popular among both amateurs and professionals. A DSLR camera lets you see the actual appearance you're shooting through the viewfinder allowing you to visualise better and record your scenes. Saturn built his prototype digital camera out of Motorola components, a few detectors, 16 nickel cadmium batteries, a digital recorder, and a Kodak movie camera lens. The eight pound behemoth produced black and white photographs at 0.01 megapixel resolution in 23 seconds. In addition, Sasson and other Kodak engineers created a unique screen to view them. When it comes to camera invention, there have been numerous significant firsts, ranging from a modest box that produced a fuzzy dim image on a pewter plate to the digital camera the size of a toaster. Each advancement impacted the world of photographers forever, and it's worth remembering them the next time you take an image. 
That wraps up the video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.